When you're helping your children with dyslexia and ADHD, it's important to spend a lot of time with them on other things that are not reading and school related. I found one-on-one -on -one time to be really helpful to building a positive relationship with my children. There's three main ways I like to do this. Personal interviews, dates, and just going out on errands together. Dates are just a time to have fun with your child. And I try to remember when I'm with them on a date to not have an agenda, to not try to push any kind of teaching on them. I mean, if things come up naturally, that's different but I try to just keep my mouth shut and listen to them. We've been doing dates for about two years and it's been really rewarding. And one thing that's really helped is to have a set day and time for the dates. I like to write down in my calendar the name of the child I took out that day so that if I get off of my rotation or if I, we miss a few weeks, I can go right back into the rotation and have it be fair for all the kids. But sometimes I take them out on double dates. Before my children were old enough to babysit, I would go out on dates with them on a Saturday when my husband was home and able to watch them. And the dates are short, just an hour or two. Now that my older two children can babysit or stay home by themselves, I do the dates during the week and I rotate the younger three children on a certain day and the older two children on a different day of the week. That way I can pay a little bit more attention to my teenagers. I feel like I need that extra time with my teenagers because they're not coming to me when we're at home to hang out like they used to. And there are more stressors in the relationship now, so we need as much positive time together as we can get. When I take my kids out, what we do depends on how much money I have in my budget at that point. Sometimes we'll just get an ice cream cone for a dollar at Golden Pizza. Other times we might go to a restaurant and eat but the main thing is that we're talking during this whole time. Another way my husband and I spend time with our kids is to take one or two of them out with us on an errand. This gives them a chance to talk to you and to get more attention from you than you would if you had all the kids or none of them. I'll usually buy them a little treat if we're out on an errand together because for children, treats mean love. Treats also mean a good time for a little kid. Another way I do one-on-one -on -one time with my children is personal interviews. Again, I think it's a good idea to do these regularly. I try to interview all my kids once a month. We haven't done it for a while, but I'm getting back on the wagon. I usually do personal interviews on Sunday afternoons. I find a place in the house where we can be alone. It's always in my bedroom. And I lock the door and I tell everybody to leave us alone for a while. And I have treats in my room, so it's a fun, positive thing. In personal interviews, I'll usually just chit-chat with my child for a while and shoot the breeze and then we'll talk about goals. We review the goals that we set before and see how they're doing and set new goals. The one thing I have to say about this is that I have found I need to watch my kids and read their cues because sometimes they're not in the mood to talk about their goals and to have a personal interview. So in that case I'll just let them go and we'll try again on another day. I hope this video gives you some good ideas on how to have one-on-one -on -one time with your children and enjoy it. Mm -hmm.